Good morning, province. Grace, mercy, and peace be with you from God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I hope you had a good spring break and a good Easter celebration. I pray that it was a restful time for you and a good refreshing time with your family. I want to give you a brief meditation this morning as you look ahead at the week that you have in front of you. Uh, I want to speak to you from Matthew chapter 25 and the parable of the talents. If you remember, in the parable of the talents, you have a man who travels to a far country and he gives uh, to his three different servants three different amounts of money. He gives, <clears throat> excuse me, he gives to the first five talents and to the second three talents, um, and or sorry, two talents and to the last one talent. And the first two, um, the one who received five talents and the one who received two talents, go and they Um, take what he had given them and they make a return on it. They go and they use it, they trade it, they, they invest it, and they're able to create a return on it so that the one who was given five receives five more and the one who's given two receives two more. But the one who received only one talent goes and he buries it in the ground. Now, a talent... Uh, in in Jesus' day, was not a small sum. Um, it's possible that a talent was as much as six thousand denarii, and a denarius was about a day's wage. So you can do the math, but it's a talent is a significant amount of money, or it's it's, it's very very valuable. So um, it's not a small gift that he um, gives to these servants, and but it's not a gift in terms of it's their own. Uh, it's, he gives it to them to use and to, and to make a return for him. So when he returns, so when he comes back, they're able to, um, demonstrate that they've taken his property and made a return on it and done, done something with it. Well, there are a number of different things that you could talk about. We could talk about with regards to this parable, but there's one particular application that I think is important for us to consider in the times that we are in. Um, we are we find ourselves in a time where you're at home more, where possibly you have a lot more time on your hands, um, and it can it could be that you look at that as some sort of trial from God. It's really difficult and it's it's frustrating, or you could look at it and you could see that it's time that God is sort of leasing out to you. It's a gift from Him, but it's still His time. This extra time that you may have is time from the Lord. What are you going to do with it? What are you go- how are you going to use that time? Are you going to squander that time or are you going to take that time and make an investment with it? Are you going to um, take that time and and seek to grow in your understanding of something? Are you going to give yourself more and more to the reading of God's word and maybe to prayer? Because there's a lot of people that are distressed around around you and friends and family. Um, Think about ways that you can take the extra time that God has given you um, or the extra, um, the, the freedom to, to try different things right now, even though we have less freedom in certain ways, um, you, you maybe have more freedom to try different things. Pick up a good book that you've wanted to read for a while, um, or maybe one that would challenge you. Pick up a, um, a woodworking project. Just go and, and learn how to build something. Um, research a time of history that really intrigues you, but you've not had time to study it in, in school before because uh, you've been so busy with other things. God has taken away certain things right now, but he's also given us certain things. And so look for ways that you can take that and invest it in your own life and, and look for God to uh, bring a blessing as you work hard and work diligent, diligently at the work that's set before you. And also as you're looking to... Um, to do more with what God has given you. So as you go into this next week, um, don't, uh, don't despair. Don't be discouraged. Don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, make yourself be bored. Uh, my mom used to tell me that, um, there's no such thing as a bored person. There are only boring people. So go get interested in something, go find something to do. Um, again, whether it's a project or research or a book that you want to read or find something productive with your time to do because this is extra extra time that you have been given. So go and, and make use of it and, and bring a return on it. We'll be praying for you this week and I, uh, I pray that this week is profitable for you um, and that you are uh, able to continue growing in your knowledge and understanding and and as you continue in your schoolwork pray that it goes well for you Um, have a great rest of your day and a great week ahead take care